Hello, welcome to NTV Business. Innovation is driving the future. Today, I am here at India's largest innovation center, T Hub, to speak about amazing innovations by Kenneth.ai. Today, we have Mr. Kanvachit Singla, the CEO of Kenneth.ai. Let's talk to him. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. So, firstly, brief us, brief us about the Kenneth.ai. What is that? How does it work? So, Kenneth.ai is in the business of enterprise AI assistance. So what we do is we build a piece of software which can assist the enterprises in automating their marketing, sales and support. At the same time, assist their teams with the right analytics and uh, uh, data. So can you brief us more about, like as you mentioned that it is an automated AI assistance system. So how does it work most importantly? Like in which channels does that does it work? Right. So what we do is like we, uh, so whenever we are working with a particular company, so what we do, we collect all the information they have, which they use to communicate with their clients. So we understand how in people, uh, how people in India talk to, let's say, real estate businesses or healthcare businesses, and we collect all the information about them. Like maybe in real estate, what all projects they have, what kind of floor plans they have, what prices they have. Um, in healthcare, maybe like what all branches they have, what doctors they have. So then, what we this software then links with all their communication channels. It sits on their website, links it with their WhatsApp number, Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business, and talks to their customers as if a human is talking. As a consultant, like call customer. Exactly. So the, the goal is that we are we want to engage the customer as if like somebody is like giving them personalized attention um, with the goal of engaging the lead, then converting to a uh, known contact all the way where we are setting up an appointment for their site visit and even beyond the sales for operations and sales purposes. So great. So when did you start this? How did you get this idea of starting this? So yeah, so um, I, I worked in Microsoft for a long time. I worked in US and like in India as well. So 2016 when we started Kenneth, Ken means knowledge. So okay. the idea was that, okay, the information is out there. How can we process that information and create knowledge out of it? But that uh, in 2016, we were working on a retail intelligence product. Um, towards 2017, we realized that just having the knowledge is still not good enough. Hmm. People are bombarded by so much information. People are looking for like simpler interfaces where they can just like talk to an intelligent human being. And we said that, okay, even right now, if you see only 20% of people can be categorized as um, a computer savvy, right? Yeah. So we said like, okay, can we come up with applications which can just talk to as consumers. a personal assistant right right so we we started building the conversational ai technologies and then we started kind of mimic mimicking how a marketing or sales teams should talk to customers and so on so like i think the goal was like okay um build a computer system which can just talk to customers as a human would so as people say human touch is also necessary so, what are the challenges you face being an AI assistant, a robotic, well, an AI assistant is speaking to customer. So, what was the challenges that missing out the human need, human conversation? Obviously, that it's it cannot do everything. Yeah, like we definitely, it's an automated. Exactly. But the, the goal is that like some of the initial touch points, when like especially in the marketing phase, there are thousands of people coming to talk to your business. At that point, it's just too hard for you to be available 24 by 7. True. Um, in multiple languages, you cannot talk to the customers. And there are so many of them. Like you cannot have like 10 people talking to 10 customers. The AI can talk to any number but of customers. But AI can do all this in one go. Right. Any language, 24 by 7, talk to like hundreds of customers in parallel. So that kind of stuff was never happening anyway. So there we assisted the, uh, the uh, businesses. And another thing what happens is like initially, um, like the initial touch point is from the AI, their own team members are focused on like more harder things, mm -hmm. like be able to like take care of the customers who are more serious about buying. So what happens is like some of the initial touch points are done by the AI and the later like their own team efficiency also Follow increases uh, because they have more time to do the, uh, the proper uh, uh, Conversation, conversations yeah. with the customers. So, what are the kinds of AI assistance you provide to the customers, like the business owners or anything? We, what we do is like whenever we go into a particular industry, so we understand like how that industry works in a particular country, right? So we understand, let's say in India, how people expect to work with the real estate company, right? So we have right now the AI models for real estate, healthcare, education, automotive, retail. And uh, recently we have started hospitality as well. 
Great. So you will be assist. You will be providing the AI assistant technology so that the conversation builds up uh, between the hospital patient, customer, duty, and everything. Exactly. Right. So what kind of technologies have you used to make this? Okay. So um, see the 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 core of it is like we have a AI platform using what we built conversational apps. Mm -hmm. Right. So you had website apps, you had desktop apps. So these are conversational apps. So all you have is like kind of a conversational window. And in that conversational, we can pretty much do anything what you can do with a mobile app. You can do a branch search, you can do doctor search, you can set up appointments, you can have video call with the customers, audio you can make call. payments, cart, everything, right? Um, so that's so the technologies is that we have our own platform using which we build the conversational AI. Uh, on top of it, like some of the languages and all we use, like we use JavaScript, we use Elasticsearch and Redis, um, we use .NET technologies, C Sharp. Um, so some of these platforms. How long did it take to make this technology? Like how many people are involved in doing this? So yeah, so I think we started pretty small. Like 2017, we started with four people. Um, so slowly, like I think we grew to 10 people, then 20 okay. people. Right now, we are a team of 60 people. So building an AI assistant technology, what are the challenges you're facing currently? So I think see the main challenge what we face is that how the where the technology is and where the world is, right? So just balancing that that are, are we kind of building the right technologies which the world is ready for and not like kind of like running too fast, too fast. where the world is not ready for it, right? So just just kind of making sure that we are surviving at the same time innovating um, to be ready for the future. So how was your collaboration with T-Hub? Uh, yeah, so T-Hub, uh, yeah, 2015 when it's the older, the T-Hub 1.0, uh, when it opened, I was just like starting my entrepreneurial journey. So sometimes I laugh about that I kind of grew, I'm growing with the hub. <laughs> um, so first one and a half years, like we were, I was working on a different platform and uh, 2017, I've been working on this platform and T-Hub has been there all along. So I think the biggest advantage we get, right? Like, first of all, a lot of like-minded entrepreneurs are there, entrepreneurs, right? Sure. And their journey is very similar to yours. So first of all, like having that similar environment, it helps you like feel like more calm. You can talk to other people. Also the T-Hub team, like typically what happens is like, uh, like I am from a product background. I worked in Microsoft most of my life. Um, I don't know many things like sales, hiring, marketing, marketing, right? So and like funding, another thing. Like there are a lot of gotchas or like even from compliance perspective, and they get these experts in the building once in a while. They talk about it just like from listening to other people's stories. Like you are prepared when it comes. It's to an you. exchange of knowledge. Exactly. Yeah, so they are there to hear you out. They are give, they are there to give you feedback. But I think like just because you are listening to those stories like one two years in advance before you get there, hmm. it prepares you. Out. What kind of services does AI assistant provide? Like, like in terms of customer approach, like in terms of employee engagement, what types of services you provide the AI assistant? Yeah. So what we do is like see ultimately our goal is the enterprise AI assistant. On the customer front, we go for marketing AI, sales AI, operations AI, and support AI. And the the pretty much the customer journey throughout the sales funnel. We like from the first time when the customer is coming to your website, we engage them, capture, qualify, set up their appointments, remind appointment reminders. After the sale is also done, like you can ask about, let's say in real estate, what kind of bank loans are available, what kind okay. of interior designers you can do. You can send payment reminders, construction updates. Um, so we cover the whole journey from the first touch point all the way to the support, loyalty programs, birthday, anniversary. For reminders. the customers. And now what we have started doing is on the employee side also, um, on the HR front, onboarding, exit, payroll, um, on the recruitment front, be able to look for jobs, okay. apply for jobs, set up interviews. So it's it's like like you have a marketing person, a sales person, a support person. With you. Yeah. So this AI assistant kind of works with multiple your existing systems. So you might have a calendar system, payment system, CRM systems. So it works with all of those systems and works with your customers trying to automate as much as it. So what do you think? Due to this, there will be lack of jobs like layoffs would be happening because AI is doing a sales market sales role, marketing role, HR role, interviewing, everything is done by AI. So do you think it will end up in resolving, like end up in boosting or what to say, end up in losing jobs? See, typically, like my my thing is like if you see the pretty much all the innovation which has happened over 300, 400 years, right? Electricity, cars, computers, everything, anything like initially it feels like, okay, it will be doing what other people are doing. 
but in the long run if you see right like it's not that okay the cars have not taken the jobs of horses or something like first of all the quality of life of more people goes up because you, the amount of work you need to do to give a good quality of life to everybody is lot more it's upgrading yeah you need machines to do that work right so if you are able to do that work through machines you are able to give higher quality of life to everybody and the jobs also keep kind of becoming better like if you see how the computers were 20 years ago lot of people are into the computer industry my my take would be like in the next 20 30 years like maybe 1 billion jobs will be created because of ai one of most of the people miss interpret that the because of ai we are losing jobs the technology definitely creates a shift the what what our like parents used to do we are not Ooh, doing that exactly. what we are doing our kids are not going to do that so that shift is going to happen but i haven't i can't think of any technology which actually created job loss like the society always basically uses the technology and make it better yeah the same thing is going to happen so what are your future plans of kenan.ai so right now we are we are building like more and more capabilities like our goal is that if you have an enterprise ai assistant it can take care of your enterprises from all aspects right so it can talk to your uh, customers it can talk to your employees internally take care of more and more things and with the like how the generative ai is coming so we are looking at more language support voice support over telephones um, we are looking at generative ai be able to give like proper um, like images um, whatever you need so it's just like we are making more upgrading the, yeah we are making them more intelligent be able to handle more uh, industries and more countries because for each industry also like how people in india works with real estate companies it's different in dubai true so we are trying to just capture all that intelligence it was really nice talking to you thank you so that was kenin.ai an amazing platform in enterprising and providing ai assistant technologies to boost up and scaling up business thank you